Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Luxury Newbie. I would love for you to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Today's video is a really quick unboxing of one item that I bought on eBay from a Japanese seller, as you guys can probably see by now. Um, and this is the packaging that it came in. Nothing too fancy, just a regular shipping envelope. And I'm pretty sure you guys can probably guess by the size what it is by now. So let me just pull it out. Nothing in the package except for some bubble wrap. You guys know what it is? Of course you do. It is the Louis Vuitton Truce 28. And as you can see, it is totally flat <laughs> from the way it was shipped. But it is nonetheless in gorgeous condition, as I can tell so far. That is what it looks like from all sides. That is the zipper. And let me show you guys real quick what it looks on the inside before I give you guys a little um, backstory on why I purchased this. It looks really good on the inside. It is really clean with no markings or stains whatsoever. And the elasticated band is still very much intact. And I love it. There's the little um, tag, the Louis Vuitton tag made in Paris. It was made back in, I think they said 1986. It has a little slip pocket in the back. I'm so happy that it is very clean. It is very, very clean inside and out. I'm looking for the date code. I really want to show you guys the date code. Can't find it. Um, anyway, if I find it while I'm going over the bag with you, I will definitely show it to you guys. Truce means the word pouch or like a case, pencil case maybe, um, in French. And 28 refers to 28 centimeters, which is the largest size this case came in back in the 1980s. And so this is 28 in, uh, centimeters across, and that is like roughly 10 inches. Um, and just so you guys can know it when you see it without measuring, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight LVs on each side. The smaller size, which is the Truce 23, only has six LVs. So that means it stops right here. So that is considerably smaller. And the depth or width on the side is mm, three inches. And the height is 6.5 inches. All right. It is all... LV monogram, it has no Vachetta lining, which I love, you don't have to worry about that. And like most of you probably know, it has three elastic bands here to hold items or bottles upright. The interior is made up of a wipeable leather lining and it has one large slip pocket all the way across. The zipper that they used to have back then didn't have LV on it, like the hardware we're used to seeing right now. It's called the Eclair zipper pull, and it just says Eclair on it. It doesn't say Louis Vuitton. And I particularly wanted one with the Eclair zipper, um, just so I could have like a larger opening right here that I could attach um, like a bag charm or a key ring or anything to, and I could use that as a part of the zipper pull. It is a little bit tarnished. I don't know if that'll, if I can fix that with Brasso or not, but I'm not, I'm not too bothered by it because the canvas itself is in excellent, excellent condition. 
which I'm very happy with. The zipper, oh my God, look how buttery smooth that is even after 30 years. That is a testament to the quality of their zippers. The canvas is super, super thick, which is what I've heard a lot of people say. So let me try to put some items in here and show you how much it can fit. I just wanted to mention real quick how much I paid for this in case anybody's interested. I picked it up on eBay from a Japanese seller and I paid exactly 198 US dollars for it. Um, including shipping and everything, which to me was a really good price because I was looking on Fashion File and these pouches were going um, for anywhere between $300 and $400 on Fashion File, depending on the condition and size. The Truce 23s were roughly in the 300 range and the Truce 28s were uh, up closer to the 400 range. Um, so for me, um, 200 was a really good price to pay um, for this piece considering the condition that it's in and how clean and intact this pouch is. There are a lot of other similar pieces on eBay that are way cheaper but I didn't want anything that had too much wear and tear on it. I wouldn't accept anything that had like cracking or a missing zipper pull or anything like that. I wanted a piece that was in condition similar to those on Fashion File, but I got it for like half of the price that they're going for on Fashion File. This piece is multi-purpose. I'm planning on using it as a travel pouch inside larger bags. It can also be used as a junk drawer inside a larger bag, like a Neverfull. Let me show you real quick how I can use this as a clutch. Around, I would probably attach something to the little zipper pull that could be like a wristlet or something to carry it from and then use that to carry my bag around. And then if you wanted to place it under your arm, you could do so and you wouldn't have to be, you know, squeezing the bag every time you, you picked it up. You could just use your little zipper pull. If I'm not using it as a bag or inside a bigger bag, I can always keep it on my vanity to pick up all the clutter and all the stuff that just seems to accumulate on my vanity and that way it would be a good accessory and organizing piece as well. That was my quick unboxing of my Louis Vuitton Truce 28. Real quick while I have you guys on camera, I wanted to show you what's happening with my Speedy V30 um, in the Damier Iben. It is, the hardware is just dying on me. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is totally chipping and, you know, going white. <laughs> everywhere so there's a lot of chipping going on here there is some as well on the zipper pull i don't know if you guys can see it let me try to focus so there's some chipping also on the zipper pull the other side is even worse i got a lot of chipping here as well see how the the clasp is totally white here on the top it's just in really poor condition so i sent a picture of this to the SA at the store that helped me buy this bag. And she said, I told her it's been under a year and the hardware is just in really bad condition. Um, is there any way I can get this repaired? She said, absolutely bring it in for repair. So I will do that and then I will update you guys when I get it back and show you the difference before and after. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until we meet again, have a great day.